Shame right like a diamond. Shame right like a diamond. Short from down. Fine light in the beautiful sea. I just to be happy. You and I, you and I. Fakatakata hoki te uru, fakatakata hoki te taonga, ki a maa kina kina kuta, ki a maa taratara katai, ehi a ki ana te atakura, hi tio, hi hoka, hi hauhu, te hei mauri ora. Morena, morena, and welcome back, whanau, welcome back. Another day here in the Manawatu, she rained all night, so I'm not too sure what the morning's going to bring us. Um, but you wouldn't believe it, the forecast for Tangaroa is looking pretty good. So we've uh, been looking since Thursday, today is Sunday. Uh, so hopefully we'll uh, take advantage of that opportunity. We've got a different crew on today. We've got uh, brother TJ, uh, brother Trev, and cousin Paulie. So that's our crew for today. I was talking to brother Alms yesterday, but unfortunately he's under the weather, so he's uh, passed up on the opportunity. Um, so what are we doing? We're targeting, we're going to be targeting Kinna, Butterfish, and Wariho. Uh, Wariho uh, come up this time of year for sporting I think, I think on those specialists, don't get me wrong, I've been told that they come up twice a year and this is one of those times. I haven't seen one, I haven't shot one, so looking forward to the opportunity and yeah, got to, can't get them on the couch, so let's see what happens. Um, Lordship from Plymouthton, um, we're going to be circumnavigating Carpetsy at this stage. Uh, we'll talk to the other guys and make sure that's the plan. Uh, she's a bit of a sale, um, we'll leave nice and early and hopefully get back nice and early as well. Main so we'll have a hop through and then we'll head around brother TJ and pick him up and um, we'll see what happens. Well, final, we've just arrived at uh, Plymouthton. Um, our car park's pretty empty. There's a few boats out, but not many. Uh, we're just going to get the boat ready and boost on out. Um, game plan still here to Kapiti, so um, sea's looking pretty flat. Cruisy trip down, stop one stop at BP, recharge the batteries, pick up by the Trev, and um, yeah, we'll get into it. Well, Tim, we've just entered the water. Well, Tim, we've just entered the water. Nice, uh, straightforward launch, just coming out of the harbour itself. Um, um, milk, water's looking a little bit milky, a couple of boats heading out now, so um, yeah, we'll get our jackets on before we head out and then um, boost on. A bit of an update whanau, we've made it to Kapiti Island and um, we've just come up to the northern end of the uh, island. Um, we've seen a little bit of fish breaking the surface. So uh, brother, brother Trevs has jumped in the water. Have a look, we're gonna have a look for some wadiho. I can't see them on the sounder, but um, we'll have a quick look. The visit's actually not too bad up this end. 
Um, so looking forward to getting in the water, but just going to keep a watch while I have a brother trip and um, see what happens. Quite a spooky fish or hard to get onto, so played a little bit of cat and mouse. We'll move on to the next area, try and target some kinnis. Well, Barney just jumped in the water, just swimming away from the boat. Probably about uh, seven or eight meters loose. Pretty, pretty blue, so it's looking pretty good. Whew! So, put it to shore, see if we get on the side of this. Well, fine, I think I'll pick up the, um, the bigger ones. If I have one more drop here, then see if I can get onto another patch. Not too bad, just over 10 meters, pretty good for me. Uh, when I come here last time, I thought it was about 12, but yep, the watch is uh, definitely 10 meters.
a bit of an update finally. Certainly, had to run the tree, watch them for a bit. Um, snatched up some beauty on the bottom of the foundation, and I watched the fish uh, come in for a feed. Managed to see a decent blue cord, so now that's so that's cool. Good experience. Boys are just around the corner, still harvesting. I'm going to boost back to the boat for a bit of a rest, and we might get back into the water one more time. Me. Um, bit of an update final, we are Brother Trev and myself just back at the boat, we can have a bit of a kai. Um, it was good to watch Brother Trev shoot a couple of fish, got a few kinna which is good. Um, the lads are still in quite in close to the shore harvesting so it will be interesting what they bring back to the boat. Um, so we'll just chill out for a bit, wait for the boys to come back and then uh, we'll come up with a, another plan. I mean. Well, finally we've got the, the first sandwich of the day, the kinder sandwich. Um, I'd, I'd love to say fresh bread, but it's not fresh bread, but it's definitely fresh kinder. Um, before we indulge in this kai, it's just a uh, karakia. Kia taku whanau, meno ho, mete kai, tēnei rā ki ora, nā me i tangoro. Let's do the taste test, let's do the taste test. I was trying to get brother Trev to go first, but he's a little bit gun shy. Camera, camera shy. Bit creamy. Um, if I could describe it, it'd be um, it'd be the stuff their dreams are made of. Oof. Nah, that's mean, mean quite. Chibok. I know a bit of an update, we're just um, on our way back and we just made a quick stop to TJ's spot, to his secret spot. Here you can see the massivest powers, the massivest kinners, and the massivest um, coda. So he's in there. I want to show everyone where we are. This is magic spot. Um, told me to keep it low key. But anyway, we'll see how he gets on because he reckons he's the biggest um, kinners are in this little bay here. So we'll see. We'll see TJ's biggest kinners. Oh, bit of an update team, the boys are just uh, making their way back to the boat after two hours. Um, just going to pick up our gear and um, get us secure and start making our way back. She's starting to get a little bit late, so we've got a bit of a drive yet, so we'll see how we get on. Well, finally, a bit of an update. We just made it back to the um, Plimpton. Just waiting for TJ to reverse the truck into the or the trailer into the water. Get this waka on the trailer, then um, yeah, we'll start making our way home. So, good day on the drink. Um, all the boys seem to be happy, so that's all good. And uh, yeah, nice. Well, Fano, we've all dressed and uh, getting warm. 
Um, just check the boat, make sure the old uh, flag's on, check the chain, she's all secure. Just wait for Uncle to wash his feet and then um, yeah, we'll start making our way home. Might stop for a hakiri, we'll see how we get on. Uh, blue cod raw fish, a uh, bit of bread, and uh, can top it off. Mean. How many? Mean. Cheer, brother. And this. Brother Chief. Well, if I know there's a mean haki there, certainly enjoyed that. So, now me, Tangaro, for providing. Had raw fish, uh, raw fish salad with blue cod and uh, kinners and bread, and we used our uh, bread as uh, plates. <laughs> I mean, so we've still got a bit of bit of road to hit before we get home. So we'll hit the road, get the boys in, and whatever we'll bit of a shinwag with the boys on the way home. Well, Fano, she's just going on 8:30 at night. She's been a big day, dark to dark. I uh, dropped the boat off first before I dropped the boys off, just because I don't want to reverse up uh, in the dark. Reflecting on the mission or the day, um, it's good to know Lawariho. I've been wanting to chase them for about three years now. Um, they come up this time of year to spawn around the Carpeti area. Um, small window of opportunity and managed to take it, so I'm pretty stoked about that. The boys had a good dive too. They managed to get onto some kinners and some blue cod and some butterfish to take home to feed the whanau, which is mean. Uh, we had a great ahakiri on the beach. Um, their raw fish salad was mean and some uh, kinner sandwiches as well. Um, so I really enjoyed that mission, I hope you did too. And just on that note, I'd just like to thank New Zealand's leading brands for getting me into the drink and out of the drink, not only with comfort, but with safety as well. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the next adventure.